I've seen the animated series multiple times. And this is wish fulfillment. I didn't think that I would actually get excited about this, but I got to feel all of my childhood Oh, I got to feel my childhood come back up for the first time that I was actually really excited. Oh my gosh, I like I feel like a kid again. I feel like my 12 year old self watching Superman for the first time be a hero and realize I, I, I feel good. Hello, all of you beautiful people out there and happy Valentine's Day. Um, if you're, if you're choosing to watch this video on Valentine's Day, bless your sweet little heart. <laughs> oh uh, let's get right into it. Okay, I'm assuming this is from Batman vs. Superman. Uh, Superman died, unfortunate. The bells been rung. Okay, bellowing yells that reach across the nation. Go far and wide. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, Amazonians, I'm assuming. The god is dead. Okay. I had a dream. Almost like a premonition. This is. This is looking. I think there's an attack coming. You. Oh. 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 Yes, let's go back here. Let's go and watch that. Oh my gosh, I so saw this was gonna happen. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I saw some of the images. I knew that it was gonna happen, but when it was displayed, I just didn't realize how much I love this. If anybody had this, like, think, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm a. Oh my gosh, I oh I don't know how to handle myself. I'm bouncing up in the chair. Okay, one of the things that I absolutely love within the Justice League, Justice League, or let's just say the DC Universe, I'm not necessarily a comic book fan. I love the animated series within Superman, the animated series of Batman. I've seen almost, it's been its been a di more than a decade and I don't really remember it, but I have seen, when I was much younger, the entire Batman Beyond uh, animated series. I watched the entire Justice League animated series. I watched the entire Justice League Unlimited series. Uh, I think it had two seasons in it, and the, original, and the one before that had four seasons. I might be wrong on that, a part one, part two, but they were just extended. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> okay. This is what I'm talking about. This is, okay, I saw some of the images. I knew that it was going to happen, but I didn't know it was going to hit me this hard. Okay. Oh, ooh, I have to I have to relax a little bit because I have to. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Dark side. <laughs> we get some dark side. <laughs> oh, dark side. Oh, gonna. Oh yes, I'm gonna be so good. Almost like a premonition. Okay. Again, this is pretty good. It's like oh oh oh, and, and we get dark side. And oh, let's go back to that what uh, that one. What was it? Uh, I don't remember the guy on the left hand side. I've only seen him again comic books. I'm not too certain. In the in the animated series, he was a there was a right hand man to to dark side. But we get um uh what was it? N uh, m m mommy dearest. What was her name? Mayhem Mommy? <laughs> Man, I am so blanking on that name. But she was horrible to, uh, what was it? Um, Dr. Faith? Faith? Dr. Hope? Mr. Hope. Hope Love? Faith of Hope Man. <laughs> Whoever was the, like, Eve Little Faith, uh, one, of, one of his catchphrases of the guy who, uh, Mr. Miracle. Mr. Miracle, I think that's what it was, his name was. And it's, uh, he would be able to pull off, he would, his, his ability from what I've seen was in the animated series, um, uh, Mr. Miracle, uh, ha pretty much had a, uh, a, a, a luck roll of a D20 whenever he needed it. It's like he could always pull himself out of a certain cir circumstance and it literally was like magic, but it was never explained. In the comic books, it could be incredibly different than what I saw in the animated series. Uh, Mother Dearest, Mother Mayhem, Mayhem Mother, um, m Mommy of the Dearest thingy. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. The Rod of Suffering. <laughs> Get over here, boy. <laughs> My lord. Oh, oh, step it. Oh, woo. Okay, wait a second. Steppenwolf, I believe. Steppenwolf. 
and there's a redesigning of Steppenwolf, uh, is in service of Darkseid. Oh, this changes everything! Okay. Oh, he got an upgrade. A cyborg got an upgrade. How do you know your team's strong enough? If you can't bring down the charging bull, then don't wave the red cape at it. Oh, I need to go back. There's so many things in the scene. That's Darkseid. That's not Steppenwolf that's doing the damage and carnage. Steppenwolf is being is a servant to Darkseid. Darkseid is the main villain in this. Oh, I'm so hyped! You were sent here for a reason. Cyborg. Okay. Uh, these were all. Oh, ooh! I think that's a a new scene. Um, that'd be kind of interesting. Whether or not uh, she has any connections with, um, Mr. Barry. I think it's a Barry Flash? Flash, Flash, Flash Man? A Barry Allen? Is he the original Barry Allen or is he a multiverse Barry Allen or I guess he's just the DCU Barry Allen? Serial light. Find out what that reason is. Oh! Oh! Oh, we get black suit! Oh, we got a black suit Superman! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, I knew there were images. It was happening. I knew again. It, it, there's a staunch difference between head knowledge and it actually impacting you. And everything's coming together from what I've seen over the last few like year or two, however long this has been um, in production. Everything's coming together. We get black suit Superman. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Find out what that reason is. Oh, I love that. I, I'm I'm a sucker. Uh, for this type of animation, when a Superman is trying to learn how to fly, that the 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 gra that he 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 has a different fluctuation, different relationship with gravity. So I'm okay with this little mystical nature of the rocks floating around his hand. I loved it in Man of Steel. I might get a lot of hate. I might get a lot of slack, but I love that aspect within the Man of Steel, regardless of it being a good or good or bad epi or episode, a good or bad film, good or bad movie. That part of the movie is absolutely it hits me. I get to see one of my favorite characters take flight, and it's that it's a it, it's a growth, it's a development. We get to see him go from walking around, and he's learning how to jump, 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 and he's trying to get out of the fly, and then oh, he's learning how to control the power, and then launches himself, and then he learns how to fly. That scene gets me every time. I love it. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Black suit Superman! Oh, <laughs> it's gonna be big. <laughs> okay. Oh, ooh, let's go back. Right there. Oh, that's an interesting little shot. He's dealing with the cube. I forgot what the cube, uh, cube is called. Uh, right there though, so I think this is going to be, I think this was already in the original Justice League, not the Snyder Cut, but, um, Steppenwolf was trying to get the motherboard, and mother box, and I believe this is at the, uh, with the Amazons, Amazonians and ladies. They said the age of heroes will never come again. Oh, okay, okay. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! Whoa! Look at that guy! Oh my gosh! That is sick! It is so fine! I'm so freaking happy about this! Whoa! <laughs> I'm so happy! <laughs> we get to see Black Suit Superman! <laughs> Woo! Oh, it looks so good! Oh my gosh, it's coming to fruition! Where honor is a distant memory. Isn't that right? Oh! No! No! Oh, I saw a clip! I didn't... Ah, uh, is this... 
Oh, I have an oh. Oh, oh, okay, here's my guess and prediction on this. I saw an image, but I forgot it was actually in the trailer because it was so going off all the walls in every other direction. I think, here's a prediction, I think this Joker is the Joker, th I love the aesthetics, I really do. It's not lipstick, it looks like blood, it really does. He looks, got no, I would say a little bit gothic, but he looks run down, a little beat up, rough. It's not as wild and crazy as the Jared Leto, Le, Le, Leto, Le, Le, Leordo, um, Suicide Squad Joker. Um, he looks more tame. I love it. Simplicity is good. Uh, less is more. It's it really is. You don't have to have an outlandish style. You don't have to have an outlandish laugh you don't have to have an outlandish anything you have it simple to the point boom i love this joker but the, the the prediction that i have with this joker is that batman killed him regardless of whether or not you like that and he killed him in the past and it's one of the reasons why i think the butler alfred saying to bruce wayne or to one of the other justice league members is that uh, we or no, no, I think it was Bruce Wayne saying it to Clark Kent when they were doing it in Batman versus Superman. Is that the uh, we used to have a uh, a Joker problem, so it's or something like that. So I think he is in the past. This is uh, Batman having a dream about what is to come, so he knows the face of insanity. He kind of he he's like on the on the verge of it, so he's having this wild, crazy dream that maybe having this rhythmic. Um, repetition that or something like that and I hope that made sense it, it made sense in my head at least because I'm the Joker <laughs> oh my gosh oh look at that see now that's a good trailer is there anything else after that I think that's it why would you have only that okay <laughs> I'm so happy we need to go back because oh where was it where was it um it was after this right there oh my gosh it's so beautiful it's so beautiful oh my gosh that's so awesome it's so great oh huh, I wonder what they did with the animation on that one but that is so badass <laughs> you can feel it <laughs> he is pissed he is going to kill Oh my gosh. <laughs> Superman is the trump card where it's like, hey guys, I have an ace up my sleeve. Oh, watch out. <laughs> so, unleash the fury. <laughs> We're going to see pissed off Superman having no qua. <laughs> One of the quotes that I absolutely love from the Justice League Unlimited animated series. One of the last quotes, and I apologize for some spoilers, it doesn't really spoil the very, very, very end. But it is a quote in the in near the very end. So it's just one of those build-up lines that you start to have having all having seen all the episodes, all the trials and tribulations, all the struggles, all the pain and suffering from all the episodes and all the sequels and series and everything that came before. It all builds up to this one moment. Superman is facing Darkseid at the base, at the base of the Daily Planet. He is uh, Darkseid has an entire invasion and in trying to destroy and. Uh, invade uh, and control I don't know dominate or whether or not he's wanting to murder and kill everybody on earth he's invading earth and he um and dark side is facing with superman and dark side has just tried to use his omega beam on batman and it misses because batman trick outsmarts outmaneuvers the omega beam by tricking it uh, by quote unquote tricking the omega beam to hit one of his own minions and you know and dark side's very impressed and he says impressive i've never seen someone invade my my omega beam before and uh he tries to go up to him and another scene happens and then um dark, uh, superman comes up and blindsides him with a punch in the back <laughs> dark side starts rolling over and uh, starts getting back up and he says uh, he that man won't give up as long as he ha let, me, let me give a little context or a little a little moment to, for a breath <gasps> Superman says to dark side that man won't uh, that man Batman won't dr won't stop until oh wait what was the quote crap um, what was the quote 
that man won't stop until um, he has um, as oh he that man won't stop as long as he has a breath. None of my teammates will. Me, I have a different issue or I have a different problem. And then he goes bam, and then hits the and hits dark side and he flips over and he's going uh, he's dragging across the ground. Um, and punches him. I think this is the time where he punches him through the wall, and he goes through, uh, goes through the wall, and he's now in the street. And uh, Be- Superman is actually walking up to him in the most epic and fashion, where there's wind blowing his cape to the side, and he's just walking like a big tough guy, re- like t- uh, releasing the shackles, and you get to see him for the first time actually try something. And Superman saying to Darkseid while walking towards him. I feel like I, I live in a world made out of cardboard where I have to take care to not break something, to break someone, un, um, to not lose, a, for a, not lose myself for a single moment or someone could die. But you can take it, can't you, big man? So what we have, and then he like punches him. I think it was like block, he blocks a punch and then he punches Darkseid and he goes, he flips over again and goes across the street. And then Superman then says to him again for the last time, what we have here is a rare opportunity for me to cut loose. Cause you could take it, can't you big man? And then you get to hear the music of the music of Superman going um, as Superman lifts off the ground, starts flying and hovering th- uh, over the ground, and he winds up for a very major punch and goes over to Darkseid's face and goes, and then a shockwave punch into the face sends Darkseid flying through the air. He goes through one building, two buildings, three buildings, four buildings. The camera zooms back. Five buildings, six buildings, seven buildings. It zooms back into Darkseid. He's still going through buildings, and Superman, he flies all the way right behind where Darkseid is um, still flying through the air. And he goes for a haymaker, pulls both hands together, and then goes... And he smashes Superman all the way down to the ground, and then he goes a shockwave through the entire Metropolis city. It is absolutely phenomenal. He's in the middle of the crater. There's still more to the story, but that's one of the moments that I absolutely love Superman. Um, and Darkseid. Darkseid, I love him as a villain. I think he's maybe very cliche. Excuse me, he might be more simple than Thanos. I'm okay with that. I'm, it's fun. It's fantastic. I've seen... I've seen the animated series multiple times. I have I've grown up on the animated series. And this is wish fulfillment. I didn't think that I would actually get excited about this. I didn't really care about the DCU. And <laughs> I thought it was kind of cool. I got to hear other people talk about it. I thought it was interesting, but I got to feel all of my childhood I got to feel my childhood come back up for the first time that I was actually really excited. Oh my gosh, I like I feel like a kid again. I feel like my 12-year-old self watching Superman for the first time be a hero and realize I I I feel good. This is like this is awesome. I want more of this. I really do. I I I probably give $100 to this film. I don't know how I will, but I probably will. I usually don't pay for I don't usually pay for uh, makes and models and uh, toys and, inter- and and posters and whatnot. I have two posters of My Hero Academia up on my wall because I loved that that series when it first came out with the first season. It felt like the superhero that I the superheroes that I grew up with. That's what I loved about My Hero Academia. There's other animes that are incredibly worth watching, highly recommended, but. My Hero Academia made me feel like I was a kid again. It made me feel like, oh, there's hope. There's Even though there's evil atrocities happening with villains all across the nation and, and the world, is that we get to feel... Uh, we, get, we get to feel like we're, we're fighting against something, but we're fighting for something. We're fighting for love. We're fighting for family. We're fighting to rid somebody because they're, they're doing evil. Not things I disagree with. Not because... Not because they're just evil, because I think that they're evil. They're doing wrong actions. They're killing people. They're active. Oh my God. It's like, as a child, it's like, yeah, stop the bad guy. I felt that. I, it's not to kill the villain. It's never to kill the villain. It's always to stop the villain. And I always love that about, uh, about um, like, what, what's, the, what's the one quote? 
Um, I'm trying to remember. Uh, it's the when you're a kid or when you're a child, you root for the hero. But when you're an adult, you understand the villain. And I got to feel like a kid again. My goodness. It's I Wonder Woman, Cyborg, Barry, uh, The Flash. I'm what a Batman even. I'm not really a fan of the Batman of of um the D the uh Warner Brothers DC live action Batman. I'm not necessarily a fan of him. I understand the universe and why he might be the certain way. Uh, there was a few choice scenes between Batman versus Superman, specifically with Bruce Wayne over uh, standing over um uh, over Superman with that kryptonite spear, and he and uh, he uh, Superman said was ca uh, calling and crying out for Martha, his mother. That was the same name of Batman's own mother, and that s created a sense of humanity. That it's like no, 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 you're 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 a bad person. I have to kill you. And I might get a lot of hate for that. There's some criticism of the internet of how horrible that movie is, but that scene, that moment, made me feel and care about the two characters. This was like 10 times that. This is an awesome trailer. I hope the movie does well. I might sign up to HBO Max just to watch this one film, and then I'll uh, sh shut it off and go away. Um, this is awesome. <laughs> this is amazing. Again, I felt a little outlandish, and I usually don't get as outlandish as I normally did. I'm kind of like coming down from that high. I felt myself being a kid before and i didn't have that for such a long time when i'm trying to watch entertainment and movies um i want more of this i really do heroes really do mean a whole heck of a lot to me it goes back when i'm a child like i there was a comic book at a uh, at walmart i know just uh one of the one of the times that i would purchase a comic book and on the cover it literally was like the red rooster or something the only reason that I bought the Red Rooster comic book, and the Red Rooster is not about a chicken, the Red Rooster is about like this um, this classic superhero tale that's like a remake or a, a mirroring of Superman. And it, it looked like a very classic comic. It's like, oh, look, uh, we have a hero, here's some crime, this is what's happening. That's it. It made me feel like, like up, up, and away. <laughs> as, as silly as that is, and I'm the, does the CW... DC Universe I'm not a fan of at all <laughs> at all <laughs> except for uh, except for Arrow the first few seasons of Arrow anyways and and uh, Black Lightning the first episode the second episode I think were okay but then it got a little too eh, for me after that Anyways, that's getting on to a little tangent. Thank you very much for being a part of this. Please post your comments, questions, and concerns right down below. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe up because that would greatly help this channel out. More importantly, you, yes, you, enjoy your Valentine's Day. What? Go enjoy your Valentine's. Go find that special someone and give them a little kiss on the cheek and say, I love you because they're so sweet and adorable and little charming peoples. And don't forget to, like, poke their nose and go, hmm.